Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the blind side cameras. This is one of the latest updates that was just released over the holiday software update. A uh, few of you have actually responded in the comments of my videos asking me for me to do a specific video on this feature. So what's really exciting about that is when you hit the turn signal, either left or right, it will automatically display on the main screen um, your blind side view with the cameras are a part of the car. So this is really, really nice to have. It eliminates the ability or option to have to turn around and look behind your head all the time because that blindside camera will be able to visually see uh, directly on the screen uh, anything that might be in your blind spot. And it works automatically with the blinkers. So this is a particular feature that I know I'm going to use all the time. It's going to make it a lot easier to understand if someone's in your blind spot. So a feature I really enjoy. So let's uh, take a couple different scenarios. I, I took a couple little video scenarios here with my daughter uh, that's directly in the video. Let's take a look at it. If you guys have any more requests on videos, please put them in the comments below. More than happy to take care of that for you. Okay, let's take a quick look at how these blind spot cameras actually work. So on the yoke, you can see I'm going to go ahead and hit the left turn signal here and on the main dash you can see the camera popped up so it's getting the side mirrors indicating uh, that the camera is on and it's showing me what's on the left side let's go ahead and switch into that lane here because there's no one there and as we all know with the new turn signal technology it'll automatically turn itself off i don't need to hit the button again so on the right side, let's take a look at the right side now. Let's go ahead and click that and you can see the lane's wide open. So it does allow me to understand there is no one in my blind spot. So that's really, really handy to have that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the left side though, because I would like to switch into the left lane and I do not see anyone in the blind spot. So we'll go ahead and cross over there. So that's pretty cool. I really like that a lot. Uh, it seems to be working really good. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or comments about uh, that technology, let me know. Um, I think it's working really, really well. I really like it, actually. It's it's pretty nice. What do you think, Catalina? Cool. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, so Catalina likes it as well. So watch this. When I'm close to this car, you can see it past me right there. I'll leave it on here another second. We'll go past this other car up here. So you can kind of see how that works. But uh, yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. See, look, there's the other car. So that's really nice. I like that quite a bit. Here's another view of the blind spot cameras. This one's a much better um, angle. So you can see I'm going to take a right here. And I need to make sure that there's no one in my lane. Oh, it looks like the text messages coming in will affect the blind spot camera. So just be aware of that if you're in the middle of turning. So as you could see there, that's not necessarily the best thing when I've got my turn signal on and I'm going to be turning right, uh, looking at the blind side camera and all of a sudden I get a text message. So just be aware of that. I wanted to point that one out for everyone. Hey everyone, let's take a look on how you enable the side cameras for the blind spot. So it's really easy to do. Let's go ahead and click on the car icon here and then you'll see the main screen here. Let's go ahead and click on autopilot and then you'll see everything that I have turn, currently turned on in, under autopilot. If I scroll down here, there's a new button here where I have it already enabled, but it's automatic blind spot camera. And this is exactly what we just showed you in the video. So all you do is just literally toggle that on. And from now on, as soon as I hit the right or left turn signal, as you can see, that's the right turn signal. You can see it in real time. And if I turn on the left turn signal, you'll see that. So that's how easy it is to enable it. Just go to controls, autopilot, scroll down, and you'll see it right there. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about these particular cameras. Now, the blind spot of a car is the space around the car that the driver cannot see from his seat. Such a zone is at the rear side and even in the front of the car. Now, the new feature that's been enabled here, as we've shown you in the video, is when I turn on my left or my right turn signal, it's going to show me 
my blind spot directly on the main screen in the car. Now, which camera is it actually taking advantage of? And by the way, this does require full self-driving cameras fully enabled in the car. So we have this camera here that is in the side pillar. Um, it's not actually that camera that's doing it. You can see where that one's kind of angled. Uh, the, the direct lens of that is angled a little bit more towards me, a little bit more towards the forward of the car. And then we have these cameras here that are really close to the front wheel. And look where that camera is angled. That camera is actually um, angled directly in the blind spot area. So it's taken full advantage of that. One of the things you may have noticed in the news is Tesla did increase the price of their full self-driving. I think that they're trying to be very intelligent and utilize certain camera features that they may not have talked about before. Um, and so they've probably been playing around with this for a while, but I think taking advantage of these cameras and then making it, you know, enable it for the blind spot is a great idea to just get more uh, advantage out of all the technology that's in the car. So I, for one, am a big fan. I think they've done a great job. Here's one more shot and one more angle. I'm gonna need to get into the right lane here. So I'll go ahead and hit the right turn signal on. You can see right now, it looks like there's no one in that lane, which is ideal for us to turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn. But you can see how good that actually works. So those cameras in the blind spot work really good. What do you think, Catalina? I think it works cool. great, yeah. So anyways, that is the last of the little clips I'm gonna show you guys, but hopefully you like what you see. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me any suggestions you want. This particular video was a uh, request from one of the viewers here, and I definitely want to highlight the fact that I will do requests if you guys just put them in the comments. So thanks a lot, guys. Please like the video, subscribe, and thanks for joining. Appreciate your time.